Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Summon of the Screen Squad. Like always, I'm Vinny. I'm Ozzy. And, uh, and on this episode, we're talking about They Live, the John Carpenter, I'm going to say classic, right? And definitely. The, it's mm-hmm. uh, 1988. One of his best, it's what, 35 years? It's hitting a 35 year anniversary. 35 years. It's in theaters, well, today, which is Sunday, mm-hmm. September 3rd. It's actually playing today, two showings in theaters. Yeah. At the uh, <clears throat> in theaters today for its uh, 35th anniversary. Uh, John Carpenter made a movie about capitalism with aliens. Rich, rich aliens that are taking over the world. More topical now that uh, they've released those, yeah, Mark, those UFO things that aliens exist. And Mark Zuckerberg. Hey. Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, they, they, they're not going to fight. They're aliens. The UFC, so. Yeah. Trash. They are? Are they going to? They were good. No, right? Gonna, but Elon, Elon, Elon uh, kind of was like lagging it. Punked out. Well, I mean, they, yeah. they're, they're a bunch of, you know, twats. So it's just. Yeah, I said it. What? Twats. T-W-A-T-S. You should have said tweets. Mm-hmm. X's. It's <laughs> <laughs> the two X's fight. What happens? Yeah, uh, but no. So John Carpenter made a movie <laughs> one, based off a one, short story, right? One of them X's, one of them threads. Go figure. Yeah, yeah. he made he he made a movie about about aliens, uh, con- ca- capitalism, consu- like consumerism, and wrestling. First of all, you, you <laughs> <Yeah>. need <clears throat> you need a you need a check check yourself. It's actually about Roddy Piper in his best movie. Yeah, that's what it I is. Had respect for him. Oh yeah, he he came in, did his thing, rocked the shit out of it. Well, and no, number David. one, he uh, he carries this whole movie, yeah. right? John and Nada. Keith. That's it's a it's a story about like he's there. There really doesn't have a there really no backstory about John Nada, right? It's mean, just that he's a no. drifter. you mean John nothing? Yeah, John Nada. Yeah. But he does have a re- wedding ring. He does carry a wedding like. He has a wedding mm-hmm. ring. On. Never explained the whole wedding ring. Yeah, because um, you see, he puts some glasses on, looks at you, goes, "You're all fucked up. <laughs> you are fine. You real fucking ugly." <laughs> I mean, he's, I mean, for for, for, for Roddy life. Piper, for 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 Roddy Piper, for a movie that Roddy Piper has to carry, he did a good job. He's a re- he did a really really good job. I, he's I, well, he had he's had a, an under underappreciated movie career. Well, most wrestlers are really good actors, so I mean, yeah. mm. <laughs> have you seen Suburban Commando? Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm talking about uh, Mr. Nanny. The, their their performances while they're wrestling. the The fact that they can they can ease through uh, an action scene makes sense. the The fact that they can make uh, give you an emotional response that can kind of work too with it. But you know, to carry something like as long as he did in the uh, well, he, uh, then again, he he barely spoke in the movie. That's the thing. He, he just uh, walked around. What worked out oh. is the fact that his physicality is actually Roddy Piper helped no, him move. He had lines. I can hear the chew bubble gum. Yeah, but not going. a lot. No, yeah, there but short... all the lines he said were great. Yeah, but yeah, but, but that stuff he used when he was on WWF. Actually, I think it was in WCW or in pres- in mm, transition no, at WWF. the time. But, it was on WWF because uh, that's why I'm saying the respect because Vince McMahon had told him that hmm. not to do the movie. And he's like, we'll find you something else to do. And he goes, yeah, no, I quit and did the movie anyway. Yeah. Uh, so movie, respect. Like, look, you get Roddy Piper. You get Keith David, which is the voice of Goliath, I think, Gargoyles. Like, you, mean, you mean the, the Navy ad? The voice of Spawn in HBO's animated Spawn. Yeah. The best Spawn so far. Right, he that also show was awesome. every time I see him, I in my head I hear, "Is it the Frank or the Beans?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen something about Mary, yeah. he's in something about Mary. Yeah. I think he's he's a about it. You, yeah, then you no, a good movie, even though it's Ben Stiller. You, sh- you shut your movie. mouth. You shut your mouth. That is not the best movie. I didn't say best. I said best. it is a good movie. All right, it's not a good movie. What's what's his you best? Shut movie your then? mouth. Yeah, it is. and you better not say ben- Permanent Midnight. Which one? Say it. Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller's best movie then. Oh man. No, it's well, gotta be Tropic Thunder. Big, well, yeah. I'd have to say, I'd have to say that's Zoolander. Only, that's only good because of Robert Downey Jr. 
Zoolander. Is that the, the only ensemble. one? He's, is, 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 did you just say Zoolander? That's his best movie. Oh, you shut your mouth. Zoolander. Why? Oh, dude, oh you lost all credibility. Bye. It's, it's the, yeah, it's the I don't wanna, only. I don't want to do only this movie he, after that. <laughs> it's the only movie he, he's yeah. a star in that he's good. Because if not, is, next you're gonna say, "Oh, then he was also good in Heartbreak Kid." That's all I remember. That's what I remember. No. And Carlos Vinstalia. I I think you need to put the sunglasses that uh John Nada puts on. You're being brainwashed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and watch a Ben Stiller movie. Yeah, I think oh, that's, put the glasses that. on and say put on a Ben Stiller movie and it says you will you will love this movie. No, it's that's just Ben Ben Stiller's always doing great as like as like the side character, not as the main character. Yeah, in heavyweights. Yeah. I was actually thinking that too right now. He was great in too. heavyweights. He was great as he's, a villain in heavyweights. He was great in dodgeball too. No. As a villain. He is a villain, yeah. But I think his best role was uh, in uh, Happy Gilmore as the orderly. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's the same uh that's the same guy from Heavyweights. It's the same character. Basically. <laughs> he plays the same character. He's like Mike Myers. He plays the same character in many things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With the same accent. Look, yeah. but, but, we, but okay, so this movie has Roddy Piper, they live has Roddy tangent. Piper, <laughs> Keith David, and <gasps> Evil Lynn, right? Meg Foster, right? It has Meg Foster. Those eyes. Ben, so I'm going to say those eyes, Meg Foster. Those Not eyes. now, Meg Foster. First of all, no. 88, say yes. it right. Evil Lynn. That's what I said. She's Evil Lynn. That's what I said. I said that. No, already. Not, no her name's not Meg Foster. It's Evil Lynn. That's all she will ever be. Let me in. Let me in, Evil Lynn. Get it? Run. Nice. Gross. Uh, no, but so, but this is not a this is not a long movie. It's like a, a good ninety minutes long. Yeah. And it's full of action, and and I I liked again for Roddy Piper for for Roddy Piper, Roddy Piper's acting acting is is not bad. Yes, he does he doesn't say a lot in the movie, but he expresses a lot in his face, right? In his in his uh, expressions. Right, that's kind of what carries the movie because the movie is carried on his back, and it's somebody that he's a drifter. He comes across these like this group, this militant group. He tries to help somebody, then he finds the glasses, and he puts the glasses on, and he starts seeing that the world is actually being ran by like s- subliminal messaging, which is kind of isn't that what happens? That's the yeah. whole point. Like, con- like capitalism, consumerism, all that stuff. It's, like people- it's called marketing. Yeah, it's but it's yeah. like they're 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 making them like want to use this stuff, and that aliens actually live among us. They've li- lived among us. They're the rich people. They're the people in power. They're trying to, and if you yeah, watch like the movie, Sharon Os- about- like uh, what's her name, the Osborne son. Sharon? Who else is gonna clean your toilets? Well, first of all, uh, she looks like one of the aliens. But I'm just saying. No, but. But then, but think about what they yeah. said in the movie. Look, you she, she has a gold watch. Goes, <laughs> look, you rewatch this movie, and then you hear you hear them talking about they're reclimatizing the world. And this is 1988, before they talk about global warming. They're reclimatizing the world. They're the richest people. They're making the world in their image, like the, like the Earth is their third world, right? Yeah, they consume and then they uh, leave after. Yeah. Well, look at what's happening. That's why. That's why it was like it's topical because there's global warming here. There's all this kind of money, all these people in power. I was like, oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah, it's pretty topical, actually. Yeah. And then the only bad part, and it's true, and it's true. I I was uh, seeing something about um, that they they're able to make rain with like uh, I don't know some kind of machines. They did that in they did that in in China. they, yeah, too. they didn't they Artificial just do it for the rain. Olympics they made or it something? Rain so that it like flooded areas, right? Yeah, created monsoons. Allegedly, Allegedly. yeah, I mean, gorilla monsoons. <laughs> he said he said gorilla monsoons because he's stupid. Yeah, because of wrestling. <laughs> no, but, Piper. So, but, but Lucha like, Libre. But it, but I, but I really do think this movie is. I, I, I'm telling you, rewatched it. The special effects better than Flash. Yes, <laughs> and there's, <laughs> and there's, and this, it's still a well done movie. It's still a really good movie. It's a, I like, I know that it wasn't popular it's, when it it's, came out. I really is no, it really is one of Carpenter's best. Yeah, yeah it is. 
Yeah. It's like you 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 can put this on among the thing. You could put this on the same uh, the same. Thing <laughs> I, the thing I'll put it on the thing. <laughs> I'll flop my wiener in it. You could put it. You put it among thing Halloween. You could put it uh, like uh, what's the Empire. other one? Uh, I don't know. Big Trouble in China. Empires. No. That's no. That's not one of his best. You but you can't, could, I mean, you, you could say a Big Trouble Little no. China, Escape from New York. Vampires. No. Is, what do you mean? Vampires. vampires is not one of his best. It's excellent. It's excellent, yeah. but it's excellent. not one of his best. It's that's not a one ten of his out best. of eleven. I, okay, I first say, of all, I, this I movie thing, is this movie is so good that it makes you forget. Oh, that's right. Here's here's the guy from Halloween. No, I, see, saying, I would say it, no, it makes no, you forget. Halloween is good. Stop. I would say stop, yeah. Stop. I would say that's what I'm saying. It's it's. I think in my opinion, it's one of his top three because I would say Halloween. Then I would say. Well, top four because Halloween, Escape from New York, um, The Thing, and then They Live, right? And did do you? I, I don't know. I didn't read. I didn't research much about um, this movie, right? Didn't re- research a lot about it. But did it feel did, like it should have been Kurt Russell in the Roddy Piper role at one point? Was it supposed I, to be Kurt Russell? I think the feather head makes you feel like it. Yeah, I think he did want Kurt Russell, but then he had already made so many movies with him that he was like, yeah, no, not again. It's like, what am I, Johnny Depp and Tim yeah. Burton? But I, but, yeah. but I think they did. They, I think they chose there was, the right. There was a long movie. list of people. They wanted Stallone. They wanted a bunch of people for this I think movie. They chose the right thing with Roddy Piper. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Right, because you Plus, get someone. You have to remember, is... Carpenter is a is is he still alive? Yeah. No. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah, yeah, is he? yes. So who's the one that he's died? a he's a huge uh, wrestling fan, huge wrestling fan. So. He had to have Piper there. That was good, and then but he's he has charisma. That's the thing. Like Roddy Piper has for for like the lines that he has in the movie, the way he carries the movie, he has charisma. That's the thing. This movie is really good, and not just story wise. Even though you take you take a a short story, and you really do ninety minutes of this, and it really works. They fleshed out like a good chunk of the reason why the aliens they did that running man, doing, and that there is yeah. they, they they cleanly explain that there is a, a, a underground group trying to overthrow them of humans that know about them, right? And then how they actually take some of the humans that find out about them and then make them rich so that they don't say anything, right? That's where you have these the, the rich groups. I can't wait till I become an alien. Okay. No, you just want to get probed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, eh, <laughs> to go with the bad. It's fine. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice to get paid for it once in a while. Oh, come on. <laughs> Said you had already been probed by aliens. So. <laughs> at the like, Home Depot. At the I, de- <laughs> I didn't know there was a doctor at the Home Depot. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's where all the aliens hang out. <laughs> I'll tear you. <laughs> I'll tear you. Uh, but uh, but again, like special effects wise, like the no, you know what makeup, I mean. The practical makeup on the on the on the uh, on the uh, on the aliens and they live. Uh, I I think it's still. It, I think it looks really and it's like that's a thing. Like you think about them and it's iconic. You know exactly what those aliens look like. People who see this movie, that's the face of the aliens that stand out to them, right? And yes, it's people yeah. wearing prosthetics, and if you look closely, you can see some of their mouths under the makeup. But that's the and when you hear him speak too, you, when you hear him speak, and you can hear that they can barely speak because yeah. of that. It was and, wrong, baby. And uh-huh. it's and that's kind of the part of the whole thing. And that's, that's, all, that's the, the only line we all know too. Movie is so good. <laughs> when you see their hands, you can tell they're wearing gloves or stretchy like oh, yeah. shirts, uh-huh. it's cloth that's supposed to make yeah. the look make make the look of the alien skin. Yeah, but but you know, but you know the look from what the movie is. I know it makes exactly. sense. Oh yeah. If some if somewhere to say oh that's yeah that's an alien from they live you, like you know people who've seen this movie mm-hmm. know exactly what it's from and and it's got a know, cult following yeah and so. a long time ago I had heard that they were gonna they were gonna remake this movie right a long time nope, ago I hope not God I hope not yeah I, no, yeah, I don't I think not. it's ever gonna happen but I, I yeah I heard about that too but I mean again like the movie was made for three million dollars right and. All it, it a lot of the shots are there's no real like big special effects shots, like there's a couple things here and there, but it's all <laughs> shot like even, even for the, the most teleport part, downtown LA right downtown LA in the 80s same spot same spot downtown LA that's where right? they film colors that's where they film Predator two man colors are so good and Predator two 
I mean, <laughs> that's a movie. Hey, that, both Shut of those movies have movie. Maria like Conchita movie. Alonso. I like Predator too. That's that's a movie. It's fine. You take him from the Maria. jungle jungle to the concrete jungle. You're so stupid. It's a good movie. I like Predator <laughs> 2. You shut your mouth. <laughs> I mean, it's as good as the first one. I mean, uh, <laughs> you must watch it again. Damn mind. You. Watch it again. You must put yeah, your goddamn the, and, mind. But you know, like, and 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 it downtown LA looks in the '80s what it looks like now <laughs> with all the homeless people, all the tents, and all that stuff. That's pretty much how it looks like now. Yeah, but you, but Still. if that's the case, you cannot ma- remake that fight nowadays, or you run into like God knows how many people. Because those alleys don't exist anymore. Yeah, they're all gentrified now. <laughs> the alleys are gentrified <laughs> with tents. That's right. It's housing. <laughs> it's housing now. See, they're not really tents. They're like speakeasies. No. <laughs> yeah. just, you go like, hey man, <laughs> just get you got a, a password. password. <laughs> you got a password. Yeah. Swordfish. <laughs> Walt sent me. Mm. Dirty Mike and the boys. Dirty Mike and the boys. <laughs> uh, but no, look, if, if if you haven't seen They Live, it's definitely a movie that should be on everyone's list to watch because it's such a good movie. It's and it's people. It, it's actors like not even, there's no big name actors in this movie. Right. And everyone does Keith? a really, really good job with at the, at the time. He wasn't he wasn't and that big at that time. No, it wasn't a hit. Number one, it, I don't, I don't, I don't think. No, yeah, no, it was he, number he, one. He it said was number Keith one da- when he came he, out. He said Keith David, and I was like, he's not big. He wasn't that big yet. Right, but it oh. was number one. Just I, I have a feeling because of the wrestling crowd, right? But it definitely has the B movie. Oh, feel, so it's, it still was number one. I don't get it. Yeah, don't, don't, don't mis- don't. Yeah, but don't chop us down. Don't I don't get it. Down. I don't get it. It just because we're wrestling fans doesn't mean. Was it liked by uh, critics? By no, critics? but. Who gives a no. shit about critics? Critics are stupid. Back then, critics then are different than critics now. This is just no, to understand. Chris, no, critics back then were stupid and paid. Still, they were paid. They, they were paid they, more but, uh, directly. Are we criticizing movie? I'm yeah, but it's, movie. there's a difference. We're not getting paid for us. Okay. <laughs> That's true. I'm just I wasting mean, my time. <laughs> I mean, I do. <laughs> I'm paying I, with time. I, I do. Look, uh, and, and and this movie is different than a lot of other movies that came out at the I, time, I just, right? But, it, I do special movies on the side. But that's about it. You had you had other you movies that are Japanese. sci-fi that are other classics like <laughs> RoboCop and Terminator and all that that came out around the same time. Yeah, RoboCop. But this one's different. But this one's this one's very very different than those movies because it 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 has that I guess RoboCop had like that underpinning of the corporate people taking over and stuff like that. And this is like aliens taking over. Because they're trying to be rich and they're trying to like change the change the atmosphere and make the earth into a world that they Try can live change in. Change the game, and, like the lizard right. people. Yeah. TikTok. I get all my news from TikTok. Nice. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but I think, but I definitely think it's this. That's is it. Really, we're gonna disappear. I think this is our last episode. Yeah. Ding, ding. Oh, we're done. Uh, but I, I I think this is a really well done movie like that came out in the eight in that came out in eighty eight. Uh, it still yeah, holds it's up. Still very it still topical. holds up. Like th- those themes still exist now, right? Topical or that's, not, but the movie still holds up. You can watch it and it still holds up. Mm-hmm. And like and that's why they put it in theaters and those those the theaters selling out. People want to go see yeah. this movie in theaters. Yeah, I mean it's a great movie. People yeah, still watch Rocky. Movie. Roddy Piper, you have, <clears throat> the, the, you have Roddy Piper's performance, Keith David's performance. Keith David's is a good one, and Evil Lens. Meg Meg Foster, right? But the I'm not gonna just she's not one character because she was also Tommy Morrison. Lord <laughs> seems garbage. Is Rocky, yeah, he's in the scene. He's one of the guys. He's in the scene. I didn't I didn't catch him. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention for him. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't pay attention, but uh, but yeah, no, it's it's definitely a good movie that I would definitely recommend watching. And you know that that fight scene was recreated in South Park, and I'll never forget it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you dirty mother! <laughs> <laughs> like you never, you'll I'll never forget it. But it's a, it's it's a it's a gr- it's a great movie. You should definitely watch it. It's thirty uh, fifth anniversary. It's already thirty five years old. Oh, what, uh, yeah. what a good audience, huh? It's already thirty five years old. It's really well Ain't done, that. and it's from 88. So definitely check yeah. it out if you haven't seen 
They Live, right? If you haven't seen They Live, because it's really worth the watch. It, it makes really? me it movie makes me miss my hair, mm. so I can feather and it out. You never had feather hair. I know. Well, I could have. <laughs> Stupid. I Your hair looked. I, like I missed my could have. I I, I, <laughs> I missed my hair because then I could have done stuff with it and made, made it look like Piper. No, you couldn't have. That man had you gorgeous look, you, hair. You look like a a female opera singer if you grew your hair out. <laughs> like Pavarotti. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. On that note, this has been Vinny. This is Ozzy. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Man. Like Opera Man. <laughs> I got red. <laughs> Good afternoon.